Okay, what's up everybody? Welcome to my channel and uh, I am Ricky Tran. Today I'll show you guys how to root the OnePlus 8T, okay? Disclaimer, if you do any of these, you might void your manufacturer's warranty and you might break your phone so you will continue at your own risk. Alright, and if you do break your phone, I have a breaking, unbreaking tutorial on my channel too for the OnePlus 8T, okay guys? So if you guys know all that, um, continue at your own risk. So first we want to, what we want to do is unlock the OnePlus 8T's bootloader. So you go into settings. Make sure you're connected to the internet too. You go to about phone and then repeatedly tap on developer, I mean tap on build number until you see you are a developer. I think I already did that. And you go back one, then you go into systems, then you go into developer's option. Then you want to enable OEM unlocking, okay? Like so. If you have a pin, enter your pin. So there you go, allow OEM unlocking. So you can click enable. And also click on advanced reboot. So click that on and then hold down your power button. And at the top right here, the three dots, click on that and click on boot, bootloader. <laughs> Remember guys, if you do this, if you unlock your bootloader, um, all your data will be wiped. So make sure you save everything you need to save, okay? Now you go over to the computer and you open up, I mean, you download this uh, here. All the links are in the description, okay guys? Minimal ADB, ADB, fast boot. Minimal ADB and fast boot, you want to install into your to, into your PC. So you want to scroll down on the link here until you see this here, you click on that. X to add, you scroll down and here, you see, uh, you, could, you could choose zip or setup exe. I would choose a setup exe, it's a lot easier. Click download. And you download it and install it, okay? And then you download and extract the platform tools folder in this link here. SDK platform tools. And click uh, download for Windows here. Unless you're on Linux or Mac, you can use it on Linux or Mac. And check the mark check here and download download it here. Download and save it to somewhere you can remember. And then you open it up here. I'm gonna get rid of this one real quick. And you open up here and then you extract this folder here. Okay, go over to your phone. You notice that you're now in bootloader mode or fast boot mode and device state says locked. We want to change that to say unlock. So you want to connect your phone into your PC. Make sure it's connected and you want to open up a command prompt now by going to the search down here and type in CMD and hit enter. Now you want to type in CD in command prompt. Type in CD space, drag and drop the platform tools folder in there and hit enter. Now you want to type in, to make sure that your, your phone is connected, you want to type in fast boot devices. Okay, so it's connected, so your serial number is right here. The phone serial number. Now you want to type in, this is going to, this command is going to uh, unlock the bootloader, okay? And give you fast boot mode. So you want to type in fast boot space flashing, F-L-A-S-H-I-N-G, flashing unlock. And then you hit enter and it will unlock and it will erase everything, okay? So make sure you guys save all your data. There you go. And over on your phone, this screen pops up. The kind of warning screen. And you want to click the volume down until it says to the blue thing hovers over unlock the bootloader. And then press the power button, okay? There you go. Your bootloader is unlocked and everything is factory settings pretty much. So you gotta wait until it's done. Okay, so once your phone is done, um, you could do the initial settings or initial setup. Okay, once the initial setup is done, sign on to the internet. Uh, let me sign in the internet real quick. Sign into the internet and uh, sign into Google Play. 
Let me sign into that real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so I signed into Google Play. And what you want to do is download um, Oxygen Updater right here. Download and install that. Now, this only works if you have a, a firmware that is not the latest because you need to download the latest firmware. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna patch the boot IMG from the latest firmware, okay? Because we can't get a I can't find on the internet um, a download of the firmware anywhere, not yet, anyways. Because I guess the phone is still new, so nobody has it out there yet. Uh, and um, OnePlus OnePlus hasn't OnePlus website doesn't have it either, so they have it for the eight and the eight Pro, but not for the. So let that install. <laughs> Open it. Uh, open it and then click next. Now this is uh, if when your root when your phone is rooted already, it, you can download a rooted version of the firmware of a new firmware, and you can choose it here. But we we're not rooted yet, so we just click close on this one, and make sure scroll down until you see one plus at. Make sure it's clicked on. Click next. Make sure you choose full update, not incremental. You want the full update, okay? Next. I, I always uncheck that crap. So I click check. And down here, you want to click download update. Let's click the latest version. Right now, my version is 11.04.05. So I'm going to download the latest version right now. It's 11.056. Okay. So scroll down here, click update, click allow. And the update is going to download, and you're going to have a copy of it inside your internal storage, uh, the root. This, the root of the internal storage okay so what you want to do is take that what you want to do is take that and move it over to your PC okay and then we update it from here too okay but most importantly we have to move it over to your PC have a copy of it on our PC okay that's the important part so let that download and finish and when it's done okay so now that it's done downloading you want to go into uh, make sure file transfer is on and USB settings Turn on file transfer. You can type in USB on the search in the in the settings, and then go USB preferences. Make sure file transfer is on. Okay. <clears throat> and now we're gonna head over to our PC. We're gonna open up with the internal drive of the OnePlus AT, uh, and it should be right here in the root directory, right here. And you want to move it over to your PC. I already have it, so I don't need to do that. I already did that already. Okay, now that we moved our brand new firmware over to our PC, what we want to do is download and install Python version 3.8.6, okay? Don't download the new one. Don't install the new one because for some reason it didn't work. I don't know why, so... But the, old, the older version worked, the 3.8.6 right here. This ver version works. And download the executable executable installer I already have it right here so and open it up and install it okay but when you open the installer make sure you put, put add python 3.8 to path click that on and then click install now we can close this now now go to the start menu scroll down until you see python 3.8 and right click on python 3.8 64 bit here go to more open file location and then on this right here, right click on 3.864, go to properties, and open file location. We're gonna close this. We're gonna close this. Okay, so now what we want to do is open up the brand new firmware we brought over from our OnePlus AT and extract this payload bin over into here, okay? So just copy over here. It might take a little time because it's a big file. Okay, so our payload bin that we just extracted over is right here. And what we're gonna do is uh, extract the payload bin and extract the, the, the Python will extract the payload bin into this folder here, the outlook out the output folder. Let me erase this. I this is I did earlier. So let me erase this. Oops, sorry. Boom. Okay. So you wanna what you wanna do is uh, hold down shift 
and right click somewhere in empty spot sorry uh, here uh, open PowerShell okay window here now you want to type in this command here to make sure everything is set uh, requirements satisfied 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 okay that's good and now you want to copy and paste this command here and into the PowerShell and hit enter now if you can see you go into out output folder all the files or images that is inside the payload bin is getting extracted and extracted into that folder right here it might take some time because there's a lot of big files in there okay <laughs> So let that finish. Okay, so now that is done, you can see it's done when it says this right here. You can type in it. We can close the PowerShell and we want to copy this boot IMG over to here. I have it already right here. And we can close this and make sure our file transfer is on, on our OnePlus 8. USB in the settings and search for it and USB preference file transfer is still on okay now we go into our uh, OnePlus OnePlus AT internal storage drive and go into the downloads folder and you want to extract or copy over the boot IMG into here now we want to download download magic Magis Manager APK and move it over to our internal download uh, internal drive as well. So you click on the link right here. Ooh. And you want to save it to somewhere you can remember. I have it right here ready. Oh, sorry. Okay. I have it right here ready. So you want to move it over to your OnePlus 8T as well. Okay. Okay, so now you want to head over to your OnePlus 8T, turn off the file transfer, go into your files manager in the app drawer, and install the Magic Manager APK, which is uh, named App Debug. Okay, so install that, click continue, and click install, and then click open. Make sure you have in it. You have to have in it for this process too. Now you want to next to Magic's right here. You want to click on Install, and you want to click on Select and Patch a File, and you want to select the boot IMG that's in your download folder. Okay, and then once you selected that, you want to hit Let's Go. This is gonna patch the boot IMG. Okay, so once Magic's has done that you could go into your file manager and you can see that magic's manager created a file called magic patched you want to move that over to your pc okay so make sure that your file transfer is turned on file transfer turned on head over to your pc and go into the internal storage drive and head into the downloads and take the magic patch img and copy it over to your pc I already have it right here. Okay, so now we can go into a OnePlus AT and we're going to update it to the latest firmware, the 11.0.5.6. Okay, so you want to go into our settings, go into systems, click on system updates at the bottom, and on the top right there should be a gear icon. You want to click on that, and then you want to select the file that uh, we downloaded with the oxygen updater so you select that and you click on install now so let that process finish okay so now the, the installation has completed you want to click on reboot and that restart once your device is rebooted you want to go into back into systems go to about phone make sure the operating system is oxygen OS 11056 and now we head over to our PC and we're going to open up a command prompt by typing CMD 
and hitting enter in the bottom space search bar here. You can also you can also t hit the window and R key on your keyboard and the run command will come up here and you can type CMD in here and hit enter. And in the command prompt you want to type in CD space bar. You want to take the magic oh, I'm sorry. You want to take the platform tools folder here, drag and drop it over in here and hit enter. All right, you want to go over to your phone, go into settings and unlock the bootloader, okay? Make sure it's unlocked. Go to about phone and repeatedly click on build number until you says that you are now a developer. And you go back, you go into systems and you go to developers option. OEM unlocking is on and turn on advanced reboot as well. Now you can click on the power button and click on the three dots thing right here icon and then select bootloader. You could also go into a bootloader by powering off your device and powering it back on while holding the bottom down bu bu button. Okay. So our bootloader is unlocked. So we're in fast boot mode. <coughs> now we head over to our PC and we type in to make sure our device is connected. We type in fast boot devices and hit enter. The serial number is there. That means our device is connected. And now to flash the magic patch right here, image IMG, into our phone and make it rooted, you want to type in fast boot flash boot space. Drag and drop the patch magic patch IMG over and hit enter. Send in boot B, okay. Right in boot B, okay. Okay, so now our OnePlus 8 should be rooted. So we could head over to our OnePlus 8 and make sure it says start here and hit the power button. If it doesn't say start there, you could press the up and down volume to, until it says start up there. And wait until it loads. Now you want to go into Magic Manager to see if our phone is rooted or not. Make sure you have internet connection. Now right here in the middle, it says uninstall Magisk. That means your phone is rooted. Don't hit it or it will unroot your phone, okay? Okay, so now that we rooted our phone, we want to make it past Safety Net. Safety Net is a security that Google has in um, their phones. So uh, like you won't be able to see certain apps and stuff like that in the Play Store if you have a rooted device. And uh, you can't use uh, Google Pay if, if your phone is rooted, but we can make it past Safety Net. So we want to check if Safety Safe Net is working, and you click on the cancel. Click. So you click on check Safety Net in the middle here, and you click on OK. You see, we failed a testation. That means uh, we don't pass Safety Net. Okay. So what we want to do to pass Safety Net is go back, go into the gear icon up here, click on that, scroll down until you see Magic Hide, click on that and go back and click on the shield icon down here and click on magic hide right here now you want to open up google play services and turn on all of these right here and if you have like a paying app like google pay and whatnot or like uh whatever kind of paying apps you have and it doesn't work because you have a rooted phone you want to check mark it here, okay, to turn it on Magic's Hide, okay. Now we're going to go back and hit the home button here and click check safety net one more time and click try again. Now we pass safety net, okay. Now you can use your phone just like normal, plus it's rooted. There you guys have it. You now have a rooted device and you can use to enjoy um, rooted apps, okay. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Please uh, like or dislike this video. Uh, comment down below. Please share this video and please subscribe. Okay, guys. Thank you guys so much.